At today's meeting, the committee raised the target range for the federal funds rate by 25 basis points, bringing the target range to four and a half to four and three quarters percent. And we are continuing the process of significantly reducing the size of our balance sheet. We continue to anticipate that ongoing increases in the target range for the federal funds rate will be appropriate in order to attain a stance of monetary policy that is sufficiently restrictive to return inflation to 2% over time. Shifting to a slower pace will better allow the committee to assess the economy's progress toward our goals as we determine the extent of future increases that will be required to attain a sufficiently restrictive stance. We will continue to make our decisions meeting by meeting, take into a, taking into account the totality of incoming data and their implications for the outlook for economic activity and inflation. It is important that overall financial conditions continue to reflect the policy restraint that we're putting in place in order to bring inflation down to 2%. And of course, financial conditions have tightened very significantly over the past year. Uh, I would say that our focus is not on short-term moves, but on sustained changes to broader financial conditions. And it is our judgment that we're not yet at a sufficiently restrictive policy stance, which is why we say that we expect ongoing hikes will be appropriate. The inflation data received over the past three months show a welcome reduction in the monthly pace of increases. And while recent developments are encouraging, we will need substantially more evidence to be confident that inflation is on a sustained downward path. Despite elevated inflation, longer-term inflation expectations appear to remain well anchored, as reflected in a broad range of surveys of households, businesses, and forecasters, as well as measures from financial markets. Although inflation has moderated recently, it remains too high. The longer the current bout of high inflation continues, the greater the chance that expectations of higher inflation will become entrenched. 